a costume for every occasion up there? Oh, that was my niece Kelly's until she moved out of here. And why'd she move out? She betrayed me. And people don't get away with betraying me. I'll remember that. Oh, look, um, I'm gonna hit the road. Wait. It's storming out, or it's about to. Um, why don't you stay here? Really? Yeah. Well, you know, I did have that reservation at the Ritz, but uh, I guess, I guess this will be okay. <laughs> Well, we do have a lot of planning to do, and this will give us time for it. You see, Vicky's responsible for my husband's death. I've sworn that she's going to pay for that by losing the one thing in the world she loves most. Do you understand? Yeah. You did very well tonight. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bring Vicky down. And nobody's going to even know that we were there. When's our next heist? I loved being a cat burglar. Excuse me? Come on, all we got from the last job was this lousy shirt. A shirt with blood on it. That doesn't actually prove anything. Oh, ho, ho. Yes, it does, my dear. It proves that Vicky is harboring a fugitive. A guy who cut himself shaving. Look, he would have had to have shaved himself right across his carotid artery, you know, to have bled this much. Oh, the shirt's got a, a bullet hole in it. There was a shooting outside the crossroads. You say the shirt belonged to Ben, so it must be Ben's blood, and, uh... Therefore, it proves that Vicky's hiding him. We just have to find out where she has him stashed away. And how are we going to do that? You're about to find that out right now. much for coming. I don't usually make house calls. I know that. I also know I'm going to have to pay you very well for it. <laughs> this is my um, assistant, uh, Sophia. So you're a doctor? No. Who else doesn't make house calls? <laughs> Madame Delfina is a psychic. You're kidding. Oh, she has the most extraordinary psychic powers. I was able to talk to my late departed husband through her. Really? So, uh, do you think you could get me a direct line to Kurt Cobain? Stop it. Really? Just stop. I'm, I'm very, very, very sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm used to it. Let's get started. <sighs> Madame Delfina. I want to locate the man who owns this shirt. What is it? That shirt radiates evil and violence. Ah, oh, yes! You see, I told you she was good. There's blood on the shirt. I could have told you that much. <sighs> Turmoil. There are too many images. It, 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 it's cluttered, unsettled. What kind of images? I see suffering. Mm -hmm. A man. He's wounded. No, really? You're right. She is good. You stop that, right? And would you like me to tell her to leave? I'm used to skeptics. Let her stay. Maybe she will learn something. This wounded man. Wait. I'm starting to hear his name. A, A, D, B. It begins with a B. Yes. Ben! Come on, you told her. One who emanates evil should not be so quick to judge. Hey, look. Back off. I don't emanate anything. Yes! Evil. 
and greed and thievery. I see a gold box. I see an earring. Hey, you're supposed to be reading the shirt, not me. <laughs> this wounded man, I sense fear and joy. This Ben, he's hiding. What kind of joy? There's a woman. Ah, oh, yes. I knew that. Mm. She's happy, fulfilled. I would rather that you concentrate on the man. She's with him. Yes, of course. And danger. I, I send secrets. Once exposed, they will lead to destruction. What kind of secrets? There are too many. They're too hidden. Madame Delfina, where is the man? I see a bed. A bed and a bullet. And there is great pain in this bed and, and much love. V? Vicky? Not Vicky. Not Vicky? Not Vicky. Blondie. Ha! Same thing. Where is this bed? Above the trees, above others' lives, in a small room with a slanted roof. An attic! Yes. <laughs> you see, she's hiding him in her attic. Oh, Madame Delfina. Thank you, thank you so much. They're too violent. Oh, should, should we wash it or burn it or something? No. Not until she tells us what she sees. I see tragedy coming. And once it's set in motion, it cannot be stopped. What tragedy? Whose? Mine. She said tragedy coming. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm the one who lost her husband because of Vicky. Now, it's going to be Vicky's turn, right? Ah, beware, Mrs. Lord Hayes. The sword of vengeance cuts both ways. What do you mean? She means get over it. Let it go. No! Not until I have justice. Justice is not for the faint of heart. I'm sorry, I really do wish you would stop being so vague. Ah, vague. I see loss. I see suffering, I see heartbreak, and I see great pain. Pain? What kind of pain? The pain that comes when the warnings of the spirit world are ignored. The pain of death. Heed the warnings, Mrs. Lord Hayes. Heed the warnings. She said death. Dorian, the woman said death. Man, she really freaks me out. She just wants me to call her again. I don't think so. That lady knew what she was talking about. Listen to you, the big skeptic. Look, she knew that I... T Blondie. She knew that Vicky went by Blondie. And if she said if we went after this, that we would die. Don't worry. Vicky is the one who's going to have to pay. Look, I don't care about Vicky. I do. Now that we know where Ben is, all listen. them, listen to me. I am not going to do it. Now, I don't know what kind of powers that woman had, but whatever it was, she knew what she was talking about. And I'm not going to ignore it. Fine. I'll do this alone. Fine. Suit yourself. I'm not afraid, my darling. No. In fact, I'd rather be dead myself. Let Vicky get away with what she did to you. <laughs> 